is Rosacea Awareness Month, so I thought this would be a good time to talk about the things that we do for rosacea. First of all, rosacea is a chronic skin disease. We're not sure what causes it. There's some research going on about whether or not it's autoimmune. There's some thought that maybe people are hypersensitive to skin mites that you have on your skin. Everybody has skin mites, so don't freak out about that, but some people just overreact to the presence of that. There is different forms of rosacea. One is where you mainly have redness and it's enlarged blood vessels. One is where you have a whole bunch of little bumps and pimples, looks like acne. Then there's one form where you have more swelling and thickening of the skin, especially the nose can get deformed from that. And then there's one that affects mainly the eyes with redness and irritation and crusting. Common triggers for rosacea are sun exposure, changes in temperature, hot or cold, spicy food, alcohol, stress, hormonal changes. There's lots of different topical medications available and sometimes you just have to figure out what works best for people. We tend to start slow, try one, add another one, mix and match until we find the right combination. It's kind of like a trial and error phase. And then another thing that you can use for rosacea are oral medications like antibiotics that work more as anti-inflammatory medications. And then finally there is lasers which is something that we specialize in. You can use lasers to target the red vessels that cause the redness and the inflammation in the skin. Usually you do about three or four treatments about three to four weeks apart and for most people unfortunately it does mean that they have to do this on an annual basis because we can't cure rosacea. There's no cure known for it and so you kind of have to try to maintain it as good as you can with a combination of topical, maybe oral medication and lasers. 